Jack says today we're tasting barbecue potato chips. Yeah, you run to the kitchen. So that's why I'm here. Jack's gonna take me through regional barbecue potato chips, right? Yeah, but first I wanna set this up as this is your chance for potato chip redemption. Remember last time we were on set here together tasting potato chips and you chose- Low fat. This it's is like, such no, good news. No, no, is it low fat? It is, it's- No! I see you'd almost forgotten that. Uh, yes, on purpose. Yeah, so um, the good news, there's no low fat here. You're gonna have fun. So okay, dig good. in. Our colleague Kevin Pang actually tasted 30 brands of barbecue potato chips. And he, rather than sourcing national brands, that's what we typically do, right? Mm -hmm. We wanna look for things that are widely available. He said, let's find the obscure regional brands that we never write about. Mm -hmm. um, he actually asked folks on Twitter. He got 473 replies. Yeah, um, passionate about regional barbecue potato chips. Yeah, and so we ordered 30 of them and I brought six here for you. This is barbecue. Well, taste it. Okay. So tell me what you think. Is that barbecue? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of spice is gonna be all over the place, yes. as you're gonna see. And there's a little bit, you can tell the story by color to some extent, but some of them are really spice forward and almost no potato. Mm -hmm. Others are much more potato forward. Mm -hmm. And so that's a big thing in terms of flavor is how much potato you're getting, how much spice you're getting. Within the spice, what's that mix? They almost all have tomato powder, onion powder, garlic powder. They have some sort of smoke mm -hmm. in them. The last thing is the fat the frying medium. So some of these are with lard, some of them are with you know, vegetable oils, mm. cottonseed oil. The other thing is texture. So in the world of potato chips, there are two kinds of people. We're kettle chip kind of people. Um, they're sliced thicker. They are actually stirred with a rake as they cook. So they, they fold over, so they turn out even thicker. They need to cook longer in the oil. And something happens to the starches. The starches and the moisture actually kind of interact and it makes them hard. So they're not just crunchy, they're loud. Mm -hmm. and they're hard. Continuously fried, they're on a conveyor belt and they are basically pulled through the oil. They're sliced thinner so they cook quicker. Right. And they're what I would call crispy rather than crunchy. Yep. They're lacy, almost kind of melt in your mouth. So any initial impressions about what you're tasting so far? Any surprises? Um, big surprise. First, visually. I had a hard time believing this is barbecue. It's like Alabama white barbecue sauce is what they used here. I mean, it's you don't expect this to actually taste like barbecue, but it does taste like something. Some of these are very, very sweet, like candy sweet. Yeah, and I I thought when I did this tasting that like the more spice, the more sweet, mm -hmm. and it almost felt like it was an arms race with no winner. <laughs> That's exactly right. I have to say, none of these are bad. Yeah, I agree with you. This one though, I would have to say, might be close to my least favorite, but I still kind of like it, but I don't know, it just doesn't seem to me to have the right balance of spices in there. Tastes just a little ordinary. That's the local chip, Massachusetts based Wachusett. Okay. Um, I thought it was kind of understated was the word I wrote. Yeah. It's also very thin and delicate. Very thin and delicate, yes. A gossamer thin there. More like a Lay's than say a Cape Cod potato chip. So, so the ones this that- This one is an anomaly to me. Like, I don't know what's going on here. And I, I think I kind of like them because they're different. So this is a, one of the two Pennsylvania chips here in the lineup. Um, it's one that may have tallow in it. So the label's a little unclear. I actually thought it seemed kind of meaty. Yes. Um, yeah, it has a list of different fats. Well, Pennsylvania knows potatoes. I do know that. Yeah, so this chip here is a Michigan chip. It's a Michigan chip. I don't know, the smoky flavor to me, it tastes like bottled barbecue sauce, a little mesquite. Still not bad though. No. <laughs> Don't throw these away. So, All right, so this, this one? Uh, this is Alaska. It's actually made with a proprietary potato that grows in Alaska. It tastes potatoey. And what'd you think of this brand? I actually like the balance of the spice to the potato. Well, this was one of the ones that I could actually taste the potato more. Is okay. that that proprietary Alaskan potato? Yeah. Uh, these chips are from Connecticut. Mm -hmm. um, it's obviously a kettle chip, as you can tell by all the folds in it. What'd I quite think? like these. Actually, I quite like there's a little bit sweet. So I think if I ate too many of them, that might start to catch up on me. But I quite like them. I like the texture a lot. What'd you think of these? Yeah, I thought they were sweet. I thought also the label says mesquite and I mm -hmm. really feel like you can taste the smoke on mm -hmm. these. Yeah. These are way too sweet for me. Still delicious. And I think people that really, really like that sweet barbecue flavor would love those, but not my preference. Kevin's note on these was, these are an 11 on every scale. Yeah. Uh, they were too sweet. They were too spicy. Um, they're pretty bright. Very bright, a little bit like barbecue candy. Yeah. What's your favorite 
I have two favorites. Okay. I think this is my favorite. I have to say this is my second favorite. Oh, oh. What the heck is going on? <laughs> and I think this is just me. Uh, this is my punk rock vote. I just want to be different. But I could eat a lot of those. Well, we are in agreement and we're not fighting at all. Alaska Chip Company, Grizzly, of oh. course, barbecue potato chips. It's just got a great potato flavor and they're for grown-ups. They are for grown-ups. You know, tough state, tough people, makes a good chip. Alaska, here we come. Alaska, here we come. Loving it. So if you want to learn more about all these chips, maybe try a few of your own, you can go to our website. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>